Ah, excuse me. Right. Long-winded one, this one now. Solving sets of linear equalities and representing the solution as a region, in this case on a graph or a coordinate system. Right. Um, you can have inequalities with just x in them, or just n in them, or m in them, or p in them, or q in them. But in this case, we're going to have inequalities with y and x, which are setting down rules that y and x must obey by. Okay, a quick example. Let's see. Right. The case where y is less than, let's call it, 3. So the case where y is less than 3. How do I represent that? Right. Here's my y-axis, okay? Any point is okay as long as y is less than 3. So that point there, y equals minus 2, so that's okay. That point there, y equals 1, so that's okay. This point here, x equals minus 1, y equals 4, that no okay. Um, and so on and so forth. I could keep on doing this, but the key thing here is that y, you kind of, again, you kind of look back to the equations. What would happen if y equaled 3? Well, if y equaled 3, you'd have a line going through, oh, sorry, horizontally through the y axis at 3. Okay? Now, I'd like to put a thick line through there, but that's only if y equals 3. So that would be if it was less than or equal to 3. If y is just less than 3, then to represent that, a bit like the open circle on the other example, if you've already seen that, or if you go on to it later. Okay, in this case, instead of doing a bold line, we do a, a dashed line. And that represents that that line is not okay. You're not allowed points on that line because y has to be less than 3, it can't be equal to 3. Okay, where does y, y is less than 3? It's less than 3 below the line. So everything below the line is okay. Everything above it is no k. So therefore, we would represent that by then just doing a few lines like that from our dashed line, and that now represents everywhere, every point that's, that solves that, where that, where if you like, that rule is obeyed. So um, if I take any point in here, it will always be a point where y is less than 3. x, x can be anything doesn't matter, there's no conditions on x, but y is always less than 3 below that line. Alright, okay, that's sort of the long-winded explanation. Try and do a little bit of a quicker one for the next one. Then rub 5 out a little bit there. Okay, what other conditions could I have? I could have y is greater than or equal to 3. Yeah, let's call y equals greater than or equals 3. In this case, I'd then have a bold line going straight through my y-axis. And this time, everything above it is, above it is OK. It's a bold line because it's greater than or equal to, so it can include the line. So everything above it is OK. I'd then you know, dash my lines down to represent that everything below it is not very good. The reason I'm putting, not putting the line through the axis here is because I'm going to reuse this graph again and again to give you as many examples in a short period of time as I can think of. Right. Uh, right, let's do one for x before we move on to a set. Right, uh, again, pause the video when I write down this question to see if you can work it out. Okay, so I want you to now, if you like it, if you've got a little sketch pad at home, just work out now, try and figure out what line you're going to draw, whether it's going to be dashed, whether it's going to be bold, whether it's going to be vertical, horizontally, diagonal. Okay, have a think about that and pause it. Right, hopefully you've had a think about that and you've tried it. Right, the solution here is that x is greater than or equal to minus 2. If it's greater than or equal to, it's a bold line. If it's x, then if I have a look at x here, this is my x-axis, that's where x equals minus 2, and that vertical line is where x will always equal minus 2. So that's where my bold line is going to go through. Okay, and x has to be greater than or equal to it. So x has to be on this side of the line, because every x there is bigger than. So then... I'm going to nonsense everything on this side of my line, okay? I'm going to now set a second condition which is working at the same time as the first one, okay? And this can happen 
in questions. So now I'm going to say that y is less than 2. Okay. If y is less than 2, I look at the line of y equals 2, which is that one. Okay. It's less than, so it can't include it. So that's going to be a dashed line that goes through it. Okay, and it's less than, so you want everything below it is okay, everything above it is no okay. Okay, and now I've got a region there. That is a region of solutions. Every single point in there gives you an X and a Y that will both satisfy those two points. So, for example, if I take this point there, where X equals 4 and Y equals 1, the coordinates 4, 1, I'll just check it. The x condition is that x must be greater than minus 2. Well, x equals 4. That's fine. Then the second one is that y must be less than 2. y equals 1. So that's fine as well. So that solution is fine. And every other point in here is absolutely fine. No issues or problems with those at all. Holding for time. Six minutes. Ouch.